Hi everybody. So I know the lines like woo, but uh, it's too dark to do without the lights and whatever. So it's just gonna be the way it's gonna be. So today I'm doing the Creo Witches Gain to Know You tag. So let's get started. First question is, what is your favorite time of year? Recently, uh, where I live, it's summer. Uh, usually May through July because it's kind of like spring summer weather. It's warm and sunny and blue sky and green and everything's blooming and you really want to go outside and be outside and be out in nature. So it's just a really nice time of year to get outdoors and it's nice weather so you feel like going outside. Describe your perfect home. <clears throat> uh, to me, perfect home I envision is uh, a place with my boyfriend, uh, being on a property, having it be a farm with animals and greenhouses, and the house being able to have my own room that can be my office for business as well as a witchy room for all of my witchcraft stuff and collections and a place to do rituals and have my altar and all that. If you couldn't be a witch anymore, which religion or faith would you choose? Out of all the world religions that I've studied, I feel like the one that would be close to my beliefs would be Taoism or Taoism. I have incorporated some of their belief aspects into my practice, but um, I think like on a whole for that religion and faith, that would probably be the, the one that I would choose. What is the most creative thing about you? I love to write stories, I love writing and telling stories. And I have like hundreds of stories that I've worked on on my computer and I have a couple finished, a couple finished books, just haven't uh, published them yet. And I, yeah, I, I love writing and telling stories and storytelling. So I think that's the creative part of me. Describe something that scares you. There's a lot of things that can be scary, but I think that what makes them scary or terrifying is the fear of the unknown. So not having the knowledge about whatever it is you're afraid of to understand it. I think that if you have knowledge, because your knowledge is power, if you have knowledge and you can understand what it is, then you'll get rid of that fear through that understanding and knowledge. So I think there's things that I'm uh, still have fear of, but it's just because I don't have all the knowledge to understand it. Who is your hero? For me, my I have two heroes. That would be my boyfriend and my dad. They have both been there for me and helped me become who I am. They've, you know, my dad's always told me to live true to yourself, to be who you want to be. As long as you're healthy and happy, that's all he cares about. He doesn't care what I do with life as long as I'm safe and healthy and happy. And he's always helped me overcome obstacles in my life. You know, like when I'm having difficulties or I'm struggling, like mentally can't handle it, or I'm just like, maybe having problems with school or, or a job or something. I'm just like really terrified or fearful what's going to happen and freaking out. He's always there to talk to and he gives me lots of wisdom and advice to help me through the situation. And he's always, I mean, his wisdom and knowledge is so practical and so helpful and he's very wise. And whenever I speak with him, I always feel so much better about myself and so much better about life and the future. And I feel better. My boyfriend, oh my gosh, without him, I think I would be very depressed and probably not be loving life right now. I was very depressed before I met him because I was living life the way other people told me to live it. Uh, I had people in my, in my life that were telling me, you know, to live life a certain way based on what they saw me doing and what society was, you know, saying I should do. And there was like a, a mold they were trying to fit me into and I didn't fit that mold, but I went along with it because I thought uh, this is what I have to do. I mean, they're older than me. They must have more wisdom. Like society says that I should listen to them. I should be doing, 
I should be doing these things because everyone does them. I mean, I'd be weird if I didn't do them. And I wasn't living true to myself. And I wasn't being mean. I wasn't going after what I want to do in life. And it made me very depressed. And when I met my boyfriend, he showed me that I don't need to, I don't need to follow what these people tell me to do. And I don't have to listen to them. And that I need to listen to myself. I need to look within for the answers and figure it out myself. You can have people help you, but you know, you should really disattach from all these other people and all these, all these other people's thoughts and really think about it yourself. Like, do you believe that? Do you want to do that? Is this where you want to go in life and be true to you? And he definitely has helped me every day with that, with almost every aspect of my life. He's helped me with that. He's always there for me. And my boyfriend and my dad are two, two of the biggest heroes in my life. Without them, I don't know where, honestly, I don't know where I'd be in life. I think I'd be very depressed and I wouldn't be following this spiritual path. I wouldn't be doing what I love. I wouldn't be pursuing my career goals that I am. I think I would be very depressed and almost brainwashed by society's norms. Tell us about an animal you love or have loved with all your heart. All of my pets, all of my pets, they are family members. They're not just a pet or an animal. They are family members. I am dedicated to them to the day they die. I will take care of them, make sure they are healthy and happy and have a great life. And I love them with all my heart. I have loved all of my pets with all of my heart. I, my, my pets uh, are the ones that are animals that I love with all my heart. Do you, do you believe in soulmates? I believe that a soulmate can be any soul, whether human or animal, whether lover, friend, sibling, parent, whomever, that you have a soul connection with. You don't just have a mental connection. You have a deeper connection, uh, a spiritual and emotional connection. You just feel connected to this person through your soul. You have a deeper connection with them. That is a soulmate. And you can have multiples of them in your life, even with a soulmate who's a lover, you could have multiple, I um, mean, it's possible to have multiple soulmates out in the world that could potentially be uh, a great match for you to be a lover, um, with that soul match. Um, that's how I view soulmates. Would you rather create art or view art? I would rather create art. I do enjoy viewing art. There's lots of beautiful artwork out there in the world and I'm glad that I've been able to see some of it. But I'm not one to just go and view art. I would rather create art. I love to paint and draw and craft, and I would love more to create art. Describe your favorite part of your body. I think the one part of my body I've always loved are my eyes. Uh, I, I think my eyes are probably the best feature of myself. I love that they're blue-gray color. And they are like a sea gray color, um, sometimes more blue, sometimes more gray, depending on like the colors I'm wearing, kind of like how people hazel eyes, their eye color changes. Um, I think they're quite beautiful and I'm gl glad that I have them. And I think my eyes are quite lovely. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Ultimate question. I think if the egg, <laughs> my perspective is with the universe, with creation, it always comes, it's always, you know, this like subatomic molecule. I mean, however deep within science you want to go, but there's a molecule, singular molecule, which we could metaphorically say is the seed or the egg of life. And, you know, it, it will grow and evolve and become a bigger organism and you know, evolution. So I would say the egg came first. So those are all of the questions. And I love this tag. I love the tags where the questions are different. There are unusual questions that haven't been asked before in other tag videos. I love to have tag videos that are still kind of pagan related, but they are unique questions about like your past or different aspects of your spirituality or how you got started or things like that, that 
nor you don't normally get asked. So I love this tag and I will post the questions below so you can do the tag yourself. Thank you for watching. Blessings. Bye.